Hey guys, Paradox here, and today I'm going to be doing a video. I'm going to show you guys where the power is at to the new Zombies map, Shaolin Shuffle. Uh, there's four power switches, and I'm going to be showing you that here in this video. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you enjoy this video and it helped you. And uh, stay tuned for more stuff. Um, but the first power is right here. And then, like... If you want Adams up is right here if you're playing solo it's a good idea to get that but uh, for the time being I'll see you guys at the next power switch all right guys so uh, once you save up 2,500 points or more you want to head up this uh, this little incline here this ramp and you want to open this door I'm showing what I believe to be the easiest way to do this. If you want the E-Rad, it's right there on the wall. Uh, and then continue up this staircase. Hang a left. You want to open this door. And then the second power switch is right here. Alright, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Alright guys, so for the third power, you're going to want to go the way that I do. So, uh, I'll show you where I came from. I came from up there, which was the second power switch. You want to come down this staircase. Just follow it all the way down. There's going to be a number of doors we have to open here. So there's one. And then we got to get up top. You can either go this way or the way I'm going, but... I usually just do it this way because it's easier. But we're going to go up here. And I need a few more points. Um, what do you drop? C4. Oh, I switched out my gas grenades. That sucks. Gas grenades are so much better. Um, but I'll see you guys here in a second once I get to 1500 points and get the door open. Alright guys, so I got my 1500 points. Once you come up that staircase there, you can come over here, open up this. We're gonna head up here. This is also where uh, Speed Cola's at, or Quickies is what it's known as in here. Um, I think it's 2000, uh, no, it's 3000 to get that, but the power switch is right here. Also, there's a box right there, or magic wheel. So you got all kinds of stuff up here, um, this stuff and some other stuff I'll explain in a different video. Um, but I'll see you guys at the fourth and final power switch. Alright guys, so once you get the third power switch on, you want to come back down here. You want to head through this doorway here. And then you want to buy this door for 1250 and then buy this door for 1250. You want to work our way down here. It doesn't matter which side you go down. I just always go down this one out of habit. There's bang bangs right there. But we want to jump over here. If you fall down there, it's not a big deal. As long as the power ain't on, um, you can jump across. But if the power's on, there's going to be a train that's coming through there and going all the way through. And you need to be aware of that. But here's the last generator switch so once that's on I'll show you what happens so once that is on you can come back up top and we can go down here and there's normally a door here that won't be open uh, because you don't have the power on in order to get this door open you have to turn on all four power generator switches and then once you come down here you got tough enough which is juggernaut if you don't know um, also if you follow down here to the sewers you have this nice big open area here where you can train up zombies and just have fun it's best for single player or if like um 
if you're playing with teammates, one of you could come down here or maybe even two of you. And then the other one or two people can go elsewhere and train up zombies. But it's not best if you have everybody down here because it just gets way too hectic and you can die very easily with how many zombies spawn in. Um, but that's going to do it for now, guys. I'll have more zombies videos coming up here soon, so stay tuned for that. But this is Paradox, and I'm signing out. Peace.